Welcome everybody to a 0k match between in the red here in the IRE with Rovers versus in the blue Rovers for Masper. And Masper is going for economy heavy first while in the IRE is going for a scout first and then immediately a mason after that. And of course that's easily possible with Rovers because that scout is just 40 metal. So then, Masper is going for a Scorcher already. I do believe that the Scorcher got either a buff or a nerf in the latest update. The one where the Stardust got the a heat ray or whatever. So I don't know exactly how strong the Scorchers are now. Oh well. Currently the economy for Masper is looking better in terms of metal, not yet in energy. And interesting that India Ir in the IRE is actually going for this metal extractor first and skipping this one. Possibly doing that one with the mason in a little bit. Okay, no problem. Scorcher is just sitting here. If in the IRE would be going for something strange, like an all-in push, then Masper would not have seen that. While of course the dart earlier on for in the IRE could have seen that coming for Masper. Of course that's not the case, both of them have one Scorcher, one dart right here. And second Scorcher is up for Masper and a second Scorcher is up for Indiary as well. So then, right now this match is still a little bit slow to get going. And here we have first engagement. Dart goes down for Masper and he retreats and retreats with his Scorcher because of course he can't beat that with just one Scorcher. Three Scorchers versus two and of course one dart. So unless Masper is able to get a really efficient use out of his Scorchers, which he actually kind of did, I mean facing two and then taking one down, almost. That's alright. Also second Mason is up for Masper and in the IRE still has only one I believe. Yes he does. He's getting a little bit of defense up at his base and also sec securing map control in the north. Masper has still got the better economy this time around with metal and energy both. And that pathfinding was a little bit annoying for Indy Re and ooh, not really focusing on the damage scorcher. So Masper loses one. Well, he could have taken out one and possibly two, although that's something I kind of doubt. Here, the Scorcher from the north side is going to take down one metal extractor and of course close down the solar panel. This metal extractor will also go down because Masper doesn't have anything close and that's four more energy being paused. Right here, Commander is under attack but not by a lot so he will survive easily. One dart goes down for Masper. Also he did not actually take down this Scorcher yet. I'm surprised about that. Alright, Indiari has got the worst economy but is actually using all of it which Masper is not. Masper is upgrading his commander and Indiari still has a level 1. Scorcher is being chased over here by a Scorcher that is actually more damaged so on a w in a 1 versus 1 fight then Indiari would actually win that. But this is 2 versus 1. Let's see. So this Scorcher should at least go down. Just that's for sure. It's getting chased and it's being pushed into the corner. Okay, so this one should just go down. Simple as that. What else do you have, Masper? You do have quite a bit. You also have fencers, which of course have to stop the fire which is a little bit annoying, but I mean that's great range, not good DPS. But if you have enough of them, you can just 
kill the scorches before they can get close. Also, Guardian is close now. Ooh, he! It has the heat here, and I believe it has not got fire damage. Okay. Also, square the Stardust was changed that I believe it has a charge up time, so if you just step foot into its range for like one tenth of a second, you're not immediately blasted. But I've not seen it in action yet, so we want to pay attention to it because, yeah. I don't know how good it actually is or how much it actually changes it. Also, here two scorches go down for Masper. These two could do something. Yep, that metal extractor is going to go down if these fences are not close enough. Then here, Dot is taken down. Scorcher will not, but is slightly damaged. Radar goes down. This Mason should go down. Ah, come on! How do people do this? Oh well. Anyways, yeah. Fencer is really close and should take down. Yep, okay. So, here, yeah, this part of the economy is going to go down. This commander is not really doing anything, even though it could get up that metal extractor, possibly these two there, something like that. So, the fencer switch for Masper seems to have worked out quite alright. Here, Indiari is getting Ravages, which are of course really good, and an Impaler. That's really strong if it works. But of course, it doesn't have a lot of health, so if you can get close enough, it's going to go down. A big push with his Scorchers for Indiari, and this Fencer can't do anything, this one is going to go down as well. And here, if they push to the right side, or here, then they can take down more economy. There is quite a bit of reclaim over here now. But I highly doubt Masper is actually going to clean that up. Here, this metal extractor is also going to go down. How about this fight? Dot is going to go down before able to slow, and now it's a 5. Of which some of them are slightly damaged, of course, versus five new ones. Over here, yep, Impaler is in range and destroying everything. So then, Commander and Fencer, that's the only thing the Masper has over there. So this Impaler is going to survive for quite a long time. Four Ravages are out. Ravages, of course, being Assault, do quite good damage. Over here, Masper just has a couple of scorches. And let's see what happens. Here, these scorches are just sitting there, now are going to push in. Maybe taken down one or so by the fencer, but no. Here, then, Ravagers are taking down the scorchers because they're not being microed. Of course, otherwise, you could have dodged the shots, which you can't really do against scorchers. And this Stardust will probably not see any action from now on, because it's going to go down to the Impaler. One shot, and the second shot will take it down. Up here, Economy or Lotus are being constructed by Indiari. Indiari has definitely got this top side secured, and of course is able to push in here has more Scorchers than Mason has, uh, than Masper has, but actually does pull back a little bit, maybe to take Masper in range of his turrets, although those are not actually up yet, so I kind of doubt that you're actually taking them into your economy, which is strange to say the least. Here, yeah, Scorchers versus Ravagers. Are they being microed? No, but they are being pulled back. Impaler is still doing work. Has definitely paid itself off, I believe. Uh, 700, I think so, yeah. It has taken down like two Lotus, Stardust, a Picket, so it probably has. Second Impaler, actually. Already on, on the field, taking down Metal Extractor. Scorcher is not going to go down yet. 
if you can just go there and take down the Impaler, that's probably worth it. Even if you would lose all of these Scorchers, they're worth 750, so yes, that's about the same as one Impaler. But those Impalers are just able to do so much. Just run in with like a couple of Scorchers is probably worth it. Up here, there is now 800 Reclaim, and ooh, that's another Metal Attractor down. Then here, I expect one at least to go down still. Maybe even two, because, well, units are still quite far away. And yes, both go down. These Scorcher, however, will probably not survive. Ravagers over here are going to take down the Commander. Are they? Uh, there are units coming in, but I do think the Commander should go down here. At least, if he is focused. And he is. Okay. Ravagers did good work. That's still 4 metal and 6 energy down for Masper. Who still has the better economy, surprisingly enough. And that's not even because of overdrive or whatever. Masper's production is slightly less efficient than that of Indy, Ire, Because, of course, plates are slightly more efficient, cost efficient than the caretakers are, but I mean that's so little that yeah, it's not really worth it or at least not really worth discussing anyways, Ravager did go down over there over here, Impaler is quite exposed, I'd say here, Ravagers are taking out like three metal extractors and Masper is actually the one reclaiming, and reclaim there is 1400, 1600 there's quite a lot of reclaim over here. So yeah, reclaim could definitely keep Masper in the game, even though he has far less units on the field. Uh, far fewer f units, I should say. Of course, but I didn't. Oh well. Anyways, here Dot is just going to die. So then, what do you do? Well, you have still got a couple of fences. Mason is down, okay. Annoying. I still think... Well, in this case it doesn't really matter anymore. Oh well. Um. Yeah, what do you do if you're in Masper's position? I don't know. Just, well... Your metal income is actually lower than that of Indy Ire now, because your Masons have been taken down. So it's hard to say what you can do. This one is also possibly going to go down. Looks like it. Yep. G. G. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. I again forgot to use the attrition counter. Oh well. Metal income was actually really quite even.